of the missing turkey. It was a night like any other night, except this night was Christmas Eve and things were afoot. Zoe, world-class criminologist, was just tying up the loose ends of an old case when the phone rang. Get that, would you, darling? Zoe asked her partner. Ronald was a world-class criminologist in his own right and quickly deduced from the ringing in the room that the phone was indeed ringing. The sound drew him nearer and nearer until he finally found the source. Oh, uh, uh, hello, uh, Mackie Nash Investigations. <laughs> my, uh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, you don't say. <laughs> Never. <laughs> okay, we'll be right round. Ronald replaced the phone and turned to his partner. Who is it on the telephone, Ronald? It's Molly. She's lost her turkey. What is it, Ronald? Zoe sounded worried. Uh, it's been stolen. Zoe and Ronald were on the case. There's not a moment to spare. Let's go. As their car pulled up outside Molly's house, they noticed something very peculiar. Did you notice the cat flap, Ronald? Zoe's powers of observation were keen, and as they entered the front door, they both noticed the cat flap had been destroyed. I noticed, under very close observation and using my very well-trained powers of deduction, that the turkey was for Christmas dinner. Molly agreed and was impressed at how incredible this woman really was. Uh, so assuming then that this turkey it was uh, for Christmas dinner, then, then, then there would be cranberry sauce, roast potatoes, pumpkin and candied yams. Ronald asked Molly another brilliant question. They were once again astounded at the powers of observation at work here. Zoe interrupted. Can we assume that they too were stolen? An interesting question, but an important one. It was Molly that confirmed that only the turkey was stolen and that the cranberry sauce, roast potatoes, pumpkins and candied yams were left untouched. A carnivorous cat is at work here. And Zoe was on the case. Ronald, check the fridge for fingerprints. Ronald did as was requested and found a stunning conclusion. Uh, th th there are no fingerprints. Prince. This can only mean one thing. Zoe was on to something. Our perpetrator has no fingers. <gasps> Molly gasped. Uh, I found something else, Zoe. Ronald interrupted Zoe's train of thought. What is it, Ronald? Zoe's keen eye couldn't quite make out what it was Ronald was holding up. Uh, it's a piece of dental floss, exclaimed Ronald. Uh, it was found on the empty plate the turkey was sitting on. Ronald was right. It was found on the empty plate the turkey was sitting on. But I'm afraid it's not a piece of dental floss at all. Once again, Zoe's powers of observation had to do something completely different. It's a whisker. Uh, so we're looking for a fingerless thief with a whisker missing. Ronald asked his partner. It was then that Zoe had remembered the destroyed cat flap. Follow me, she said to Ronald as she headed towards the front door. I've got it, she said with an air of smugness about her. Uh, well, what we have here is, is one very broken cat flap. It, it looks like someone's dragged a, a cow through it. Ronald was puzzled. Or perhaps a turkey. Let's go. Zoe said with authority. Well, like she really meant it anyway. They ran out the door, down the path, and there it sat. Yately, said Ronald and Zoe together. At the same time, simultaneously, at the same moment, it was their very own cat Yately, but something was different. He looked about three times bigger than he did the day before. In fact, about the size of a large turkey bigger than he was the day before. He had a whisker missing and bits of broken cat flap about him. He was busy licking his paws and generally looking very pleased with himself. Oh, it's only you, Yately, said Zoe, sounding a little let down. I thought we'd found the criminal, but alas, it's just the cat. As they all turned to go inside and order a chicken korma and cheese naan bread for a Christmas dinner, they knew they were beat. The turkey was gone, and this case would have to remain unsolved. And as they closed the front door, Yately sat licking his paws and generally looking pleased with himself, uh. said Yately, as they all began singing Christmas carols. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas.